Yeah, one of our biggest uh, fears here in California uh, overall really is uh, wildfires. For the wine grapes, it's not just the proximity your vineyard is to the fire. It's also the smoke that can carry over from a county over and just settle in your vineyard. And if it stays around long enough, and there's a lot of research going into it right now about intensity of the smoke, the amount of time a vineyard's exposed to the smoke, and even distance to a certain extent. But that's distance isn't even as important as where the smoke ends up going to settle. Um, and then what happens is just through the natural respiration of the vines, they bring in the smoke and they strip off compounds that eventually find their ways to the grapes. So it's not just the soot and the smoke debris on the surface of the grape, but it actually gets into the grape uh, physiologically. Sometimes during fermentation, the winemaker would pick the grapes, take it in to the winery, ferment it in the tank, and he doesn't get any off smoky flavors or colors or smells, I should say. But as the wine ages, it might kick out that one molecule. And as, as that kicks out and becomes unbound, now it's perfuming throughout the wine and it'll taste like an ashtray and smell like an ashtray. Um, we've, oh. we've had a lot of experience, unfortunately, here in California with the wildfires um, and making wine after after wildfires. Um, yeah, we, we're learning a lot and a lot of folks are just, um, we won't even risk bringing it in if it, if it was too much of a smoke exposure um, mm. concern.